YouTube family and welcome back to yet another video <laughs> and today is a little mini haul which I am I could literally scream from the rooftops I'm so excited for this video you guys have no idea and it was very last minute I actually wasn't even gonna do this video but I ended up getting something in the mail, so I just had to sit down and film it. You guys have no idea. I'm literally jumping out of my skin right now. I'm sure for those of you that follow me on my Instagram, you already know what it is. But I just recently got my order from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, you guys, and I cannot wait to talk about it. I am so excited. I did also get a couple of things from RCMA, which I really want to talk about really quickly. So... Let's just go ahead and start. I have yet to open any of this stuff, even like look at it, swatch it, none of that. I haven't done any of it. So these are going to be all very genuine reactions, okay? So I don't know what to start with first. Do I start with Jaclyn Hill or do I start with RCMA? I don't know. I don't know. Obviously Jaclyn Hill, which I'm going to save best for last, right? Okay, cool. Glad we figured that one out. I got these for my freelance kit. I have a couple of photo shoots coming up this month that I really needed these palettes for my kit. I've heard nothing but great things about these palettes, so I'm really excited to get my hands on them and to start playing with them. So without further ado, let's jump on into them. I'll go ahead. I've never, I haven't even taken them out of the packaging yet. So you guys, this is like all new to me. So anytime I'm ever talking to anyone about makeup or like freelance or my kit or anything like that, they are always telling me that I need a RCMA foundation slash concealer palette in my collection and I definitely I definitely did because they have every single shade I got two in the, the different tones so I got the VK 10 palette and then I also got the VK number 11 palette I just wanted to make sure I had every single tone for every skin tone that I would be working on so I went ahead and got two of them so this one is the VK 10 palette. So these can be used as both foundation and concealers, which I will use it for both. And I will keep these in my freelance kit. As you can tell, these are more on the warmer side and I definitely needed that for whenever I work on darker skin tones. Um, I pretty much have all like the light tones and neutrals taken care of, but I really needed to get my hands a nice warm palette. I've yet to swatch any of these shades, so I'm really, really excited. And I'm excited to see what the formula is like. I also picked up the, what is this, um, the VK11 palette, which is, like I said, a much cooler tone palette than this one. This one is very warm, as you can tell. So this is number 10, and this is a number 11. So yeah, I'm really excited to have these palettes in my new kit. I've had a lot of you guys ask me to do a video on what's in my freelance kit, which I am working on it, you guys. That video will be on my channel soon. I'm just trying to get a couple of things in my, in my kit before I do that video because my kit is in its beginning stages so I don't have everything I, I need I still use a couple things from my like own personal collection but I definitely want to just get a couple more things for that and then I'll be able to film it so you know hang tight I got it I heard you guys I'll film it don't worry I didn't forget about you guys I just want to get a couple more things before, before I do film that video back to these beautiful concealers slash foundations they are so creamy oh my gosh I am already in the love so far so that feels really nice that's practically like the exact color of my skin tone I swatched this guy right here and like you can't even see it on my hand so I'll go in with a lighter shade very very creamy very hydrating I really really like it so far it looks like it has a pretty good coverage that's a little bit of a lighter shade and this is from the number 10 right that's from the number 10 palette now going on to number 11 I'll go ahead and swatch this guy all right so I swatched a couple of shades this one is like a little bit lighter so you can't really see it on my skin tone this is like a white shade and then a little bit of a darker shade right there as you can tell like they are so pigmented they are very creamy they blend like a dream like oh my gosh like oh I love it already I w would love to sit here and swatch every single one of these shades but I can't do that. I will be here all day. So far, I really, really like these palettes. They look really, really gorgeous. I'll swatch one more shade. I'll do like kind of like a like a contour shade just to give you guys a better idea. This one's like a little bit deeper shade, but look at that. Like look at how much, like how easily and effortlessly it blends and very pigmented. Like I can see some really beautiful looks happening with these shades. Like I mean, I mean right off the bat they seem very creamy, very pigmented, very blendable, very hydrating and still like 
look like they'll have a really beautiful finish whether you use it on your under eyes or all over your face like I feel like it's just gonna give my clients a really beautiful look i have a couple shoots scheduled for this upcoming week so i cannot wait to dive into these and play with them i will use them on myself first before i use them on any clients so be on the lookout on my instagram if you don't follow me make sure you are now because i will be giving you guys my feedback on there a little bit more in depth so initially i really really like these so i'm excited to play with them a little bit more and see what i think so now for the fun stuff i cannot wait oh i don't even know what to open first so first thing we can talk about is the bronze and blushing duo and you guys first off like the packaging is just gorgeous like i love this kind of like like illuminated rose gold chromey kind of situation that's going on i am so here for it i got the shades hot lava and cocoa rich i believe this bronzer might be a little bit too dark for me but honestly i really got this mainly for the blush because you guys know i'm so into my blushes and just seeing this like it's so up my alley that i could really care less about the bronzer i mean i want to try the bronzer i'm so excited for the bronzer but the blush is like calling my name. So that's really why I bought this. And I wanted to get, I forgot which other one. I had another one in my cart. By the time I checked out, it was already sold out. So, you know, I'm at least fortunate that I was able to get this guy. But yes, let's go ahead. I mean, this thing looks huge. Like if I can get it to open, I don't want to rip the box. Oh my God, you guys, look at the, oh my gosh, that J. Like I'm telling you guys, Jaclyn Hill knows what looks good. Like she, ooh, this is like so sexy. Like, I love the black. Oh, I love the sleekness. I love, like, the boxiness of it. Like, I don't know. I just, so beautiful. Like, I just love that it's black. Like, that's, when, like, how often do you ever see makeup that's black? Like, the packaging, you don't. And I love it. It's very much her aesthetic. I love that it's magnetic. You guys know I love a good magnetic opening. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Ah, so pretty. Oh, my God. God, you guys, I almost want to go take my makeup off and start all over again just so I can use this. Like, I, and it's funny because I literally, as soon as I finish doing my makeup today, I get a knock on my door and it's this package with like highlighters and bronzers and blushes. And I'm like, I could have used it today. That would have been great. But of course, I didn't get it in time. But oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so first of all, it has a really big, beautiful mirror. She has the magnetic packaging going on, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. I am just obsessed with the packaging in itself. Like, hello. Now onto the actual makeup. Like, look at how freaking beautiful. This okay, I just, I, I honestly, I just can't help myself. I have to put some on. Oh my gosh. Let's see. I mean, mind you, I have a lot of blush already, so it's not going to give this blush any justice, but oh my gosh, so pigmented, so easily blendable. I mean, come on. It just makes my cheeks look like they're on fire, and I love it. <gasps> you guys, that's it. I mean, does this video even need to go on anymore? Like, <laughs> It's funny because I just filmed my current favorite blushes and of course I get this in the mail today. Hmm, great. Perfect timing. Oh my gosh, you guys, like it just made my like my cheeks look so illuminated and healthy. And the color, the freaking color is literally my favorite blush shade tone that you could ever think of. The formula is really beautiful. I'll swatch it for you guys so you can have a better idea since I already have um, you know makeup on oh my gosh the formula hello look at how that's one like quick little swatch that is so insane like like look at how freaking pig roots it that's seriously one swatch you guys like i am shook i'm shook it now for the bronzer i'll swatch that for you guys as well this is definitely more on the deep side for me i can only really see myself using this when i am tan or if i'm working on tanner skin tones definitely not mine it's a little too dark for me but like i said i mainly got this because of the blush i just couldn't pass it up like that's such like that's my favorite shade of blush so i just couldn't pass it up i'm definitely going to be getting more of these duos because like i said i had i had a couple more in my palette or in my cart that got sold out before I could even check out. So I'll definitely be getting some more, so be on the lookout for that. But I mean, so far I am 
obsessed and I know I'm gonna be very committed to this I can already see it so creamy so blendable so pigmented so beautiful all of the things that you would expect when you are working with Jaclyn Hill cosmetics or Jaclyn Hill products or anything that she talks about loves anything she does like you know what to expect and this definitely did it for me so like on a total side note you guys I am just so proud of her I feel like a proud mom right now honestly because I have I have been a fan since like not day one because I didn't discover her I think it was like a year and I've been there every step of the way and I'm just like so proud of her and she really does deserve all of the success in the world that she has because she really is like I don't want to tear up <laughs> she deserves it she is she's really my role model she's the reason why I started my YouTube channel she's the reason why I'm so into makeup so I yeah yeah I don't I, I really don't want to cry so let's change the subject <laughs> okay so now for my second favorite part is the highlighters and I got two of them I got the uh, shade iced and mesmerized it looks like everything is pretty big for them oh my god again you guys look at how beautiful her packaging never disappoints like it never disappoints I love these J's like I think that's gorgeous I love that it's kind of like a mirror like I can totally see myself in this. This is in the shade, oh, I guess you can't do it that way. This is in the shade Iced and it's so, so beautiful. I mean, I just really love her packaging, honestly. Like it's very like bulky, but I kind of love that because I, I feel like I can drop, look, as I say, I can drop it. I feel like I can drop this and it won't break because you know, it's so like durable and yeah, I just, I like it. <laughs> so now for the actual product, I'll show you guys a nice little swatch. <gasps> oh my god you guys if one thing Jaclyn Hill knows how to do is those motherfucking highlighters I swear to god holy tamale so beautiful like I have to put this on my face I can't I cannot not put it on my face like it's <gasps> so beautiful like can we just mmm I'll put it on one side so you guys can see like it literally makes my face look oh my god but it doesn't even look like it's shimmer like it just looks like my face is wet like look at that difference like I have highlighter here and that just <sighs> like oh my gosh you guys like my head's gonna explode I cannot take this this is so beautiful it looks so oh my god I don't even I don't even have the words to describe how beautiful this is and I'm really not trying to be over the top I swear to god like I'm just oh, I'm such a fan it doesn't even look chunky it doesn't look glittery like it just looks very natural very youthful like like it's like my skin but oh ah so pretty like I don't know what she did with this formulation because it is just like it looks like I have like my face is glass like mm -hmm. <laughs> I can just end this video right here because like is this not gorgeous is this not absolutely gorgeous like I am so obsessed like that is a beautiful ass shade it's very iced I mean it's the perfect name for this because it definitely makes me look very icy very frosted and I love it I am so here for it but aside from the shade the formula you guys it blends them I mean I'm gonna say this about every single product of hers because she just knows what to achieve when it comes to makeup and what like is good so I mean it's just needless to say it's buttery it's blendable it's pigmented it's just so finely milled like it's beautiful she did her freaking thing like Jaclyn Hill <sighs> I didn't expect anything less from you and you always always exceed my expectations so I I'm just I'm speechless I'm just I need to move on <laughs> so the next shade that I got is a mesmerize which is more of like a pinky shade highlight and I just wanted to have like you know a little bit of different options like for the days that I have a little bit more color to my skin I wanted to be able to use this and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this guy for you guys this one's a little bit more on the golden side for when I have more of a tan on my skin um, I would definitely use this more so in the summertime this one is definitely more of a wintertime highlighter for me for sure 
but in the summertime I can definitely see myself using this for like those like bronzy goddess looks I am so here for it but I'm not gonna put this on my face because I'm not gonna overdo it but just know I will be having tons of tutorials using all of her products I am gonna stop by an Ulta I don't have an Ulta near me but I will try and stop by an Ulta and see if I can pick up like other stuff in her collection because all the things that I wanted was already sold out so I'll see if I can get a couple goodies from Ulta I definitely oh my gosh I need to go to Ulta and see if I can pick up more stuff from her because this is just like it's blowing my mind honestly like I need everything even if it's not my color I need it I need it so for the final thing I want to talk about is her loose highlighter and this is in the shade hypnotic this is a new shade so I'm really excited to try this and it from what it looked like on her Instagram and her campaign it kind of gives me the shade I'm into it in her second palette um, it kind of gives me those vibes like that kind of like futuristic galaxy kind of shade where it's like that like frosted but like purple hue to it that's kind of like the vibe that I was getting from her campaign so we shall see and oh my gosh I hate these little plastic things that you have to pull off holy I don't you guys like tell me this isn't like total TikTok vibes and like total I'm in it vibes. If you guys have a palette, you know what I'm talking about, the shade I'm in it. This is so it. I feel like that's the shade that she took and like made this. You know what I mean? Like, like it has that very frosted like purple undertone look to it and I just love it. I love this shade for when I'm doing like my kind of like creative like TikTok inspired looks this I'm so here for it like I could put this on the brow like even today I could put this on my brow point and I feel like it would just do it for me it would do it but I'm so putting this in my inner corner because I feel like it'll just take my look to the next step this was one of the highlighters I was mainly looking forward to just because I am so into that shade I'm in it in her palette and I've always said I use it as a highlighter all the time when I do my creative looks and I've always said if she would come out with a highlighter that is this shade it would be game over and she did and I am I mean I don't know if that's like what her like inspiration was behind this but that's what I'm getting from like that's what it's telling like that's the vibe I'm getting like oh my god and it's so pigmented and it's so illuminating like when the light hits it it just reflects beautifully I really feel like I sound like a broken record because I keep using all the same words to describe these products but I mean they're just so freaking beautiful and the packaging I mean I done I'm done I can't I'm done so that's it for today's haul you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I for sure did very much enjoyed this haul this is definitely one of my most favorite hauls that I've had in a really long time and I cannot wait to start playing with this makeup I'm very inspired I'm very tempted to go take my makeup off and just start all over again and play with these things because they are just that freaking beautiful like I am like look at this look at this moment right now thanks to Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics like RCMA palette who what I'm not just saying this because I'm like Jaclyn Hill obsessed because I am and I'm not this is not a biased opinion whatsoever I swear to you if you like good makeup try her stuff because <sighs> I'm speechless. She has me speechless. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if I, you know, rambled and if I was a little crazy in this video, a little scatterbrained, like kind of a lot all over the place. I was just really, really excited to, to, you know, see these products, watch these products, play with these products and just, you know, enjoy them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot recommend Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics enough. Like it is just her stuff is absolutely stunning. I didn't expect anything less from her. I am so beyond proud of her. I feel like a mother right now because I'm just like, I don't even want to talk about it anymore because I'm going to cry. Ugh. But Anyways, I am just so excited to play with this stuff and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching If you enjoyed the video, you know, give it a good old thumbs up, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone